And now for a Democrat's perspective, we are joined by Representative Kathy Castor of Florida. Congresswoman Castor, I think you were able to hear what Congressman Sanford is saying. Do you believe what the Republicans appear to be coming together on does now cover enough Americans? No, and the next 24 hours are going to be very important for families all across the country that are concerned about their health coverage. Because what we know about the Republican bill is that it will rip coverage away for millions of Americans, raise costs, uh, impose a huge age tax on our neighbors who are 50, 55 and older and not yet in Medicare. And then it weakens the life of the Medicare trust fund just at a time we have more baby boomers retiring and going into Medicare. But here's the kicker uh, for the vote that could come up in the next 24 hours is the bill has gotten even worse. Uh, to round up the votes of the Tea Party Caucus, Speaker Ryan and the White House uh, agreed to go to the heart of the Affordable Care Act, which was a guarantee that no American be could be discriminated against because they have a pre-existing condition, like cancer or diabetes. Right. Uh, so apparently this is going to be a close vote tomorrow. The phones are ringing off the hook all across the Capitol because families understand what is at risk. Higher cost and, and a fundamental uh, return to the bad old days where insurance companies could charge you anything. And if you had a pre-existing condition, it was very difficult to get coverage. Well, let me ask you about uh, what Congressman Sanford just said. He said there are examples, he kept citing the state of Maine, where they've created these so-called high-risk pools that allow money to be put, in, put into one pool that people who can't afford coverage, who have pre-existing conditions, would be able to access that and get coverage. Well, it's very inefficient and very costly, and this so-called Upton Amendment that has been floated today to provide $8 billion to states that go that direction is would be wholly inadequate. Uh, and in fact, in my home state of Florida, we've tried high-risk pools in the past, and the state never s stepped up to their responsibility to fund them. The feds here, I would be very skeptical that uh, under a Republican Congress and this White House, they would say, yes, Yes, it's important to, to provide billions of dollars uh, for that. At the same time, remember under this, they uh, decimate Medicaid services. Those are the services for our neighbors suffering from Alzheimer's that need nursing care and children and the disabled. So it's very difficult to see how this is going anywhere. In fact, you mentioned the opposition from the AAMA and the AARP when you have America's doctors, right. America's nurses, AARP, the American Cancer Society opposed to it. Um, I'm surprised it's even close right now. At the same time, Congresswoman, you know elections have consequences. Republicans control the House, they control the Senate, they obviously control the White House now. What the Republicans are looking at putting before uh, the House for a vote now has made accommodations toward the Democrats. It does preserve some of Obamacare, unlike what the most conservative members of the House want. Doesn't there have to be some sort of compromise? And are Democrats not willing to move uh, at all on your own, uh, as Republicans have been willing to do? No, the Republican bill goes to the heart of the Affordable Care Act repeal now. Uh, they could make that argument uh, before before they were talking about gutting the protection for pre-existing conditions and essential health benefits. I mean, what good is an insurance policy if you buy it and you can't go to the emergency room and be covered? Uh, but yes, Democrats, we're, we're willing to work on the high cost of pharmaceuticals. I would really like to get to the heart of the matter of how we encourage greater competition in areas the, of the country that do not have competition. There are a lot of great ideas, and hopefully this will, this, uh, new repeal effort will fail tomorrow and we can get down to brass tacks to improving what works and fixing what doesn't. But you're prepared uh, with the idea that it may pass, that the Republicans may now have a, enough votes among themselves to get this through the House. Boy, they're really trying to, to ram it through. The White House has, and Speaker Ryan have really been twisting arms. Uh, that's what I'm hearing from my colleagues here in the Capitol. But we have the American people on our side, in addition to America's doctors, nurses, uh, so many advocates. But this next 24 hours will be critical. And there's no other issue that touches every, every American family, every small business owner. Uh, so this is critical, and time is of the essence.
You're absolutely right about it, touching everybody. Congresswoman Kathy Castor, thank you very thank you. much.